Michigan and Montana. Michigan, the two seed, pick it up in the first half. Iggy Brasdakis on the receiving end of the alley-oop. Michigan up by 15. Iggy, 14 points in this one. Charles Matthews really came alive coming back from that ankle injury. He had 22 points. Moments later, it's Xavier Simpson to John Teske, who throws down the jam. One of 10 assists for Simpson. Teske at 11 points, 9 rebounds. Jordan Poole. John Beeline's team moves on with a 19-point win. Thrilled about this win. Uh, the, watching Montana and playing them again, I thought well, the, last year's team was very good. It's tough to pair, compare great to great. Um, I thought this team uh, had more weapons offensively. They were a great three-point shooting team, and uh, that was a reason why they ran through the, the big sky and won it. So uh, we were very fortunate we were able to defend the three-point game, uh, defend their isolation matchups, et cetera, and really proud of these three guys right here and the whole team, how they bounced back after losing a championship game Sunday, late Sunday, and here we are playing Thursday, and they bounced back like, bounced back like champions like they are. Take a look at the bottom of the West. Rest of the games coming up on Friday. Buffalo, Arizona State, Texas Tech, and Northern Kentucky. But we know the matchup and what the Wolverines need to get past to get themselves to the Sweet 16 and have to feel great about the performance of Charles Matthews given the injury issues. Five straight games and single figures coming in, but this was the Charles Matthews we know. He's obviously feeling a lot better. I talked to him after the Big Ten championship game, and he said he just wasn't quite right. But those extra three or four days have him back. And he was special in this game. It wasn't just the 22 points. It was the fact that it only took him 12 attempts to get there. He was dunking it on people, passing the ball, and rebounding at a high level. Had 10 boards. He's one of the great defenders in the country, and that might be his key role if Michigan is going to get to the championship game again. And defense, again, was really what was allowed Michigan to jump on Montana, especially taking out the experienced backcourt of the Grizzlies. This was something of a concern for Michigan coming into this ballgame. They hold that duo to 4 of 19 overall from the floor, 0 of 8 from deep. And in addition, they're able to get into the lane and create fouls, and most importantly for Michigan, an area they've struggled Foul shooting, they delivered there tonight, 19 of 24. Matthew's getting in on that. So there are a lot of positives to take out of this. A very hard-fought win, especially when you're t playing a team like Montana that has such an experienced backcourt, they were never able to get on track. Uh, the defense continues to be phenomenal for the Wolverines. 30th time in 35 games now. They've held their opponent to 70 or fewer points. So Michigan moves on.